Update. My boyfriend's depression and anxiety is destroying our relationship. Should I leave? I hope this is the right way to do an update. Thank you for all who responded to my initial post you can find it here. If you're curious. I took the advice and ended the relationship. He was absolutely devastated. I've never seen him so distraught. It hurt like hell to see him like that. But lo and behold. The day after I ended it. He sought help. Real help. He is now back in the behavioral hospital. They are going to keep him there for several weeks. In their inpatient program. He will get medication adjustments. Intensive counseling. And all the other things that will help him recover. Our relationship is likely over for good. As I might not be able to go back too much has happened. Too much fear. Negativity. Just too much everything. But I'm grateful that even though the breakup was so painful. It was the catalyst he needed to actually get help. I'm confident that he will be okay one day. That eases my heart. Thank you to all who responded and reached out. I appreciate you. That's positive. I hope you cut contact with him and start focusing your energy on yourself and moving forward. You don't need to be his crutch anymore. I was like your boyfriend. To some degree. Before I got help. I just wanted to thank you on his behalf for helping him as long as you could. As someone who struggles constantly with severe anxiety and depression. You did the right thing. The worst part of my disease is that I recognize how hard it is for my wife to be married to me at the lowest points. But I always know when she's trying to encourage me and honestly I get really annoyed by it. But I also know if I refuse to take a walk with her I'm being stubborn. No, I don't want to go for a walk but she doesn't either. She's just doing what she can to break my pattern. I get really fed up with the stigma around mental illness. It's incredibly debilitating for many people. But there has to be an acknowledgement on the part of people like me that as annoying as it is. We still have to show up for the people who love us. Sometimes it gets too dark to see that. Sometimes it's just obstinacy. But when my wife is suffering because of me I still wish I could just dead but I don't want her to. Pay for that so I trust her when she says I need to get out of the house for a while. If I wasn't willing to help her while she's trying to save me I would have to accept if, when she left me for a healthier environment. This is amazing news. I remember reading your story. I hope my ex also seeks the help he needs one day. It's so hard to leave but it's really necessary. That was an act of love throwing kisses. That's wonderful and sad but mostly wonderful. You did the best thing for both of you. Good news. You are so strong. You did the right thing even though it was hard as hell. I'm sure in the future you'll look back and be glad that you made that decision and glad that he finally got the help he needed. I'm glad he's getting real help. And no, I don't think that you should go back to him. It would be too painful and you wouldn't be able to trust him. Sometimes keeping someone from hitting bottom is the worst thing you can do for someone even if it hurts you at the time. It's the same with alcoholics or drug abusers. Congratulate yourself that you were able to break the cycle. Hopefully he'll get the treatment he needs and more importantly keep it up after he gets out. Yes. Right after the life insurance kicks in on those types of things book a vacation out of country for a while. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.